Alright everyone, welcome back to uh, The Lost Legends of Red Wall and the Scout, part 2. It doesn't say part 2 anywhere, but or act 2, but uh, that aside though, let's, uh, you know, just get into it. And as always, we are gonna play as Liam first. Act 2, we have a prologue in Act 2. <laughs> Okay, so this this is what we're flying out of. Hold on, ha most of this island wasn't even here in the previous act. All right. <clears throat> oh yeah, I have a bit of a cough. I don't know why, but you know maybe it's the yeah. Oh jeez, it's just the maybe some inflation. I don't know. It's perhaps been a while since you've caught up with our Liam. Well, if you remember, he passed his scout initiation with flying colors and was immediately thrown into the thick of a sea rat invasion on his village, Lilyglow. He made his way through the village and to the catacombs, where he bravely saved some locals from the rat's clutches. But then came Scum Snout. He was a nasty whereat if ever there was one. One of Clooney's own commanders, sent to pillage the countryside before Clooney himself came for Red Wall soon after, in the summer of the late Rose. Scum Snout and his sea rats wrought havoc on the little village, and Liam's betrothed Sophia was bitten by the monster's poisonous maw. Infection soon flared. But Liam had a mission first, straight from Captain Robin himself. Get to the Lily Grove Lighthouse and light it. The light would warn the surrounding countryside of the attacks and call for much needed reinforcements. Scum Snout chased him the whole way, but Liam was too crafty for him. He reached the lighthouse just in time, and as Scum Snout pursued him to the top, he was blinded by the lighthouse's beam, and his mighty tail knocked Liam off his feet and sent him falling out the window to a perilous fate. George, brother Jethro, you sure have put together a fantastic midsummer play. The rehearsal looked just magical. Oh, 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 well, it would have been even more so had you waited to sneak a peek until its debut tomorrow night. Can you blame us? We heard that music and we just had to take a look. Oh, wow. I don't believe it be too tempting to ignore her. I can't wait to see the rest of it at the festival. If I'd known you were such a storyteller, Brother Jethro, I'd have come south sooner. Well, Captain Barker, I'm only passing the tale along. I've heard you've got an exciting tale about Finn and Fiona. <laughs> oh, Brother Jethro, if you keep letting the boy have his nightmares, never are my remedies going to work. Nightmares? Oh, I caught him in the library, grabbing at that spyglass of yours again. Might have cracked his noggin had I not gotten there in time. I'm sorry, Grandfather. I just can't sleep. Mom and Dad keep fighting. And Liam, falling off the lighthouse. Grandfather, you never told me what happens next. Well, William, your eyes could hardly stay open last night. I'd have been a terrible grandfather if I hadn't let you sleep. But Scum Snout and Liam, he can't have been hurt. He's too important. Oh, little William, you've grown quite fond of Liam, eh? Uh, I mean, he's a great warrior, and now he fights so hard for Sophia. He, he reminds me of, of Dad. Well, I guess Jethro will have to finish the story then. Yes, please. All right, all right, very well. Let's continue. But where were he exactly? Liam was running away from Scum Snout. He'd been knocked out of the lighthouse. But he wasn't. Surely he didn't. He'd saved Lily Grove with his courage, 
Remember, with the lighthouse lit, reinforcements throughout Mossflower would come to their aid. But his success came at a great price. Falling through the night air, Liam wondered if his journey to the dark forest was finally upon him. Luckily, Martin had more use for him yet. Ow. Ouch! Oh, my head! Is that the sound of battle? But who's fighting the rats? The villagers fled! She's beaming loudly, isn't he? Oh, hello. Ah, let me a shake. So, last time we went all this way of docks, or not, not the docks, uh, lighthouse. And I did get, uh, now we two seconds, or two minutes, uh, I did get, you know, I did find all of the lore, I did find all of the riddles, all of, were there any memoirs? I don't know. Uh, I found, there's even more jam around, uh, but anyway, uh, in Act 1, I found all but one basket, and there's still one lore I haven't found. Uh, otherwise, I, I have found everything. Absolutely everything. Okay, how do we get out of here? Also, yeah. Ouch, my head. Yeah, you, you should worry. <laughs> How do I get out? Can't go there. What's this? Oh, I have to relearn sense. Okay. Uh, I guess it's. No? Wait, what? Face the wall. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, of course. I forgot. It's been a while, I should have. I should have recorded this on October 1st, but I kept pushing it up. Bread. Okay, that's that, thank you very much. Does the water look different? Wow, that, it's bigger than I thought it was. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. What? What? Oh yeah. The damn counter is. Uh... Yeah, I need to climb here, but how to? Oh yeah. There we go. The, it looks a bit different this game, even though it is... Well, wow. It looks different somehow, even if it is the same. Also, Snout is... Tossa? Maybe the beehive, huh? And we still come... Oh yeah, we're... Oh! Ow! Is that Liam Eagle Eye? I can't believe it! I thought no mess could survive that fall! I'm just as surprised as you are. I'm not dreaming, am I? Not this time. Get your head together, Eagle Eye. We've got rats to defeat. Let me letter. <clears throat> Be right with you, Tussa. Come rude. Nope. 
Oh, jeez. Do not lick. <laughs> Thank you, Liam. I'm grateful to see you alive and well, and I'm sure Sophia will be too. Is Sophia all right? Where is she? Sophia's waiting for us at the dock. She's alive, but I fear her health is waning. There should only be a few vermin left now. Let's dispatch them quickly and meet up with Sophia as soon as possible. Yeah, we're still gonna have to deal with that mother, <laughs> with that big dude up there. <laughs> this scout tips now. Second act. Scout's bear must say. Sure, but Scout's mind. Hmm? Scout shield should double as a suplex. <laughs> and a Scout's suplex ought to be double as a shield. I don't even know half of these. <laughs> no, then something, whatever. Um, well, look at the water, though. Hey, Liam. No, Lavin, Lavin, and that's up too. Those two are giving of a run for our honey. That's for third. You two all right? Just fine and dandy. Well, I think you're making us senior scouts look bad, Liam. Going around saving the day for us. Come on, you two. Robin fed to me to put the dock. Might be something. Let's check here first. Might be something around. Uh, oh, real. <clears throat> uh, I gonna probably deal with this later, but you know, gonna was a giant adder. Why? Split the landing two. There's something that splits the landing two. two. Maybe I'll figure it out on my second playthrough or something. Oh, hello. Oh, look, blue eyes. What? No, okay, never know. Never mind. Uh. <laughs> her fever's getting worse, Liam. I fear we don't have the resources to help her here. But you've lit the lighthouse, and because of that, more defenders are being rallied from the woods. Well done! Thank you, Captain Robin. But what are we going to do about Sophia? Scum's now still up on the lighthouse, and she seems to be getting worse by the second. We can't stay here! No, you can't. That's why we've prepared the boat for you here. Take Sophia across the bay to Old Moss Creek. The creek is too rough to row, especially upriver, so you'll have to get out Find a path and make your way to the Winsome Wraith. The Winsome Wraith? But oh, no isn't that where... Stoats, yes. One of whom is my oldest friend, and the best healer you'll ever meet on this side of Red Wall. Find Valo Scrimpaw. Tell him Robin sent you, and he'll help Sophia. Ah. I'm sure of it. Him, him. Yeah, I know that. It's uh, in the demo Anything we need to discuss, three. let's be sure to discuss it now. 
We may not see each other for a while. Do you think the lighthouse will work? Will enough woodlanders see it? Enough scouts and woodland warriors are rallying together to fend off Scumsnout sea rats. For now. You've done exceptional scouting, Liam. I was right to think you were ready for your initiation. Thank you, Captain. Truthfully, before my initiation tests, I thought I was more than ready to be a scout, but Scumsnout terrified me. Seeing that we're at with all his teeth and bile, I realized the difference between you and me. Even though you're scared too, you don't hesitate. I don't think I've ever been as frightened as I was facing Scumsnout, but just like you, I took that step forward. I'd never done that before. Do you think that means I'm ready to be a scout? Yes, Liam. I think that's exactly why you're ready to be a scout. Being brave isn't about not being scared. Bravery can't exist without fear. Courage is about taking a step forward, even though every bone in your body is shaking. Thank you, Captain Robin. I'll practice how to be brave. For you, practice, the scouts, though. and Sophia. I won't let any of you down. At least, I'll do my best not to. Captain, what actually is the Winsome Wraith? I remember hearing about it in Divin Bedtime stories, but none of them ever agreed with each other. Stories passed among mice do tend to take their own form. What was it you heard? I remember one story said it was a Corsair ship gifted to the ferret warlord Swart Sixclaw by the Wraith. To this day, the Wraith haunts the ship's halls, making sure those who aren't welcome never leave with their sanity still intact. <laughs> I admit, I used to tell that tale to give the other Dibbons a fright. I don't know if it's true, though. <laughs> Dibbons sure do have quite the imagination. You're right, it is a ship, Liam. Once a Corsair ship that sailed the seas, and crafted by sea rats, and it came to rest on the river south of Redwall, likely during the reign of Queen Sarmina at Cotir. But now, with the river mostly dry, it sits, and it serves as the home of Valo Scrimpaw and his two stoatlings. A lovely place, really. Quite warm and cosy. Uh, right. Cosy. Cosy, haunted ship. Captain, I don't quite understand. Aren't stoats dangerous? Many fight alongside the sea rats. Many stoats are like the sea rats, yes. There may even be some stoats among this horde, but not Valor. For the sake of his privacy, I won't go into much detail. But believe me when I say that Valo is quite trustworthy. So he's changed then? Valo left the vermin ways. All creatures make mistakes in their lifetime, vermin and woodlander alike. I too have hurt others. But where we come from is not what defines us. What matters is where we are going. Trust me to trust Valo's scrim Paul. I will, Captain. I'll try to. So yeah, it's kind of a difference, you know, in uh, the first game it was, uh, you know, you walk up and then the camera stayed there and you talked. Here it's more, you know, in their face, you know. Um, Head to the rowboat when you're ready to push <clears throat> off. Yep, sure, Robin. Let's be right with you, Sophie. You know, Eagle Eye, I wasn't so certain you were ready for your initiation tests, but you sure did prove me wrong. Thanks, Tussa. It's all due to the training you all gave me. You know, I have a feeling your wayfinding lessons are going to come in handy along this quest. I should hope so. Just remember, Eagle Eye, there are lots of things you can find with your way glass that you might not be able to see otherwise. I once found Mrs. Thatcher's missing necklace that way. She paid me handsomely to return it to. Not that that's why I found it or anything. <laughs> but if you collect items you find, you might be rewarded. Any words of wisdom before we head off? Just remember not to underestimate your opponent, Eagle Eye. Rats can seem pretty dumb, and I reckon they are pretty dumb, but they're not the only danger out there. 
Watch your tail and especially watch Sophia's. Did you have something else? Sophia is in bad shape, Tussa. But she's so tough that I'm afraid she's hiding how hurt she really is. Sophia is a strong mouse, Eagle Eye. Stronger than even you know, I'll bet. I'm sure she'll be just fine, but, well, keep watch over her, all right? Of course, I will. But what if I don't know how to help her? Well, that's why you're going to the Winsome Reef. Just get her there and you'll be okay. You don't have to know all the answers, which, of course, you don't. We can't all know everything. Where's Freebie? Where's Freebie? <laughs> I just have to. Hello, Laban. It's good to see you well. I'm sure you gave those rats a run for their gold. Oh, I don't know about that, Liam. You sure gave Scumfnout quite the chase, though. In due time, you might be the best scout of us all. Laban, I've got to thank you for your scent training. My nose saved my life a hundred times while I was sneaking around those rats. The nose is a mouth's best tool. Especially when you learn to manipulate smells in the air to lead rats astray. But be aware they can also do the same to you. What's the best way to mislead a rat? Well, you want a rat to follow a scent that isn't your proper scent. In other words, manipulate wind direction or your own location to confuse his nose. The rat will follow the strongest scent. What the strongest scent is, is up to you. I'd better get Sophia into the rowboat. Onward to the Winsome Wraith, which I suppose really is the best path. Take care, Liam. All will be well. Actually, it makes sense for small rats, mouse, mice to use a spear, you know, to give them the uh, reach advantage. <coughs> and where's Freeby? That's a little sucker out. How are you feeling, Soph? I'm alright, Liam. Thanks to you. You saved my life. I'm quite certain you would have gotten yourself out of that sewer had I not stopped by. Likely would have slayed scums now, too. Ha ha. Your optimism never does die, does it? Not so long as I've got you here with me. Well, it's just what I need. Once we cross the bay into Old Moss Creek, I'll find you some nice herbs to get comfortable. Maybe even some honeysuckle. Your favorite. Maybe we could have some mushroom pie for breakfast, too. Yes, mushrooms. Good for the bones. Well, actually, I was thinking we should bake lots of mushroom pies to see which recipe tastes the best. Then have one for our wedding and... Wait, bones? I, I don't think mushrooms do anything for the bones. I'm not sure now's a good time to be picking out wedding desserts. Why not? <laughs> what else am I going to think of? My throbbing shoulder? Let's head on whenever you're set, Liam. I actually think my shoulder might be feeling a bit better. Oh! Please be careful, Sophia. Yeah, we should probably go. I'm sure Freebie is all right. Ready for an adventure, Soph? As ready as I'll ever be. Before you go, Liam, Freebie is ahead of you on his way to the Winsome Wraith as well. Freebie? He's business with the stoats too? He's carrying with him a special key known as the Tangram. But I fear the rats know about it. Or at least they know it could be valuable to them. And they're right. But we can't risk them finding it. Which is why it must be delivered safely to the hand of Valo Scrimpaw. It'll be safe with him. Go now then, and get Sophia to the Winsome Wraith. Practicing your scouts call? Of course. I always found the scouts whistle code to be the neatest thing as a dipper. 
Now I get to use it myself. Don't forget the rhyme. Once to follow, twice to come, thrice for danger, four times none. How could I possibly forget? Frady uses the whistle as often as he can, even to call us for supper. It's rather annoying, actually. So, how are you holding up, my love? How many whistles? I'm fine. You fucking oar. Why do you ask? So, what? You don't have to hide from me, remember? I'm not completely fine. It's just this fever's got my head a bit dizzy and I'm worried about the dark forest. Oh yeah, the uh we might find inside. Oh, sorry, Liam, I, I I just don't want to burden you. Sophia, we are not going to die. And you couldn't be a burden if you tied yourself to my foot. Oh, thanks. Liam had never seen his Sophia like this. He desperately wanted to make her feel better. But how? What could lift her spirits? He knew Sophia, above all else, cared about her community and her relationships. But she also found confidence in her own strength, to the point where it was difficult for her to admit her weaknesses. Perhaps this knowledge could help him find something encouraging to say. Look at those fucking oars. Holy shit. We've got a plan to get you better, Sophia. And it's a good plan. Get to the Wraith. I just feel so incapable having been the one scout to get caught by scum snout. It's infuriating. Oh, I hope the others are doing all right with that monster still in Lily Grove. They know what they're doing. We've just got to stay focused on our job. Yes, I suppose. And I suppose that we'll meet plenty of rats along our path. Well, if we do, we'll figure it out, won't we? Your optimism always reminds me that everything will be all right. Probably. I hope Fraby's as cheerful as you right now. He's all by himself out there. Don't worry, Soph. No scout is ever really alone. Not with all our skills. Aye. The Tangon's got to get to safety. Whatever it is. I do hope we see him soon. I wonder if the stoats of the Winsome Wraith are as friendly as Captain Robin seems to think they are. No, this is bad. We've got to trust Captain Robin. He wouldn't send us to stoats if he didn't think it was safe. Well, I suppose we'll find out. I just don't want to be such a burden to you and the other scouts. Are you kidding? You're the smartest mouse I know. Injured or not, I can't do this without you. Maybe, maybe not. Whatever happens, I just look forward to this all being over. And then we can finally hold our wedding ceremony. That didn't go well. very well. Yeah, I don't think that went as planned. <laughs> ready for an adventure? As ready as I'll ever. Before you go, Liam. Freebie? He's carrying. Yeah, that went to hell. Practicing your scouts call? Of course. How could I possibly forget? I'm fine. Smooth. What? You don't have to hide from me. Okay. Sophia, we are not going to die. And you couldn't be a burden. Liam had never seen his Sophia like this. Don't worry, my love. I suppose. 
I just feel so in. They know what they're doing. We've just got to. Maybe we should review what we know about them to be more prepared. Freebie's all alone out there. He could be surrounded by... Freebie's as tough as you are. He knows what he's doing. You're right, darling. I do hope we see him soon. We've got to trust. Well, I suppose we'll. Find You're much too strong to ever be a burden, my love. I love you too, Ian. Thank you. I'm just looking forward to this all being over, and then we can finally hold our wedding ceremony. Well, that didn't work. This is gonna take a while. Um, a long while. Ugh. It's ready for an adventure? It's ready as I'll end. So it's pretty much just... Yes. Before you go, Liam, <clears throat> he's carrying what you him. pick. Practicing your scalp? Of course. <laughs> How could I? I'm fine. Smooth. What? You don't have to... Okay. Smooth. Well, thank you. I guess Liam something with the, uh, these. Come on now, you're Sophia Rimey. There's nothing you can't do. Thanks, Liam. I'm glad I have you. I suppose I don't like being the one injured scout, especially being new and all. It makes me feel so incapable. I do hope the rest are all right with that monster still in Lily Grove. Have each other, and that's what matters. There's no better team than the Scouts of Lilygrove. You're right, of course. We've got to keep moving forward. I suppose we'll meet plenty of rats along our path too. What do you think? Well, if we do, we'll figure it out, won't we? Your optimism always reminds me that everything would be all right. Probably. I hope Fraby's as cheerful as you right now. He's all by himself out there. Fraby's as tough as you are. He knows what he's doing. You're right, darling. I do hope we see him soon. I wonder if the stoats of the Winsome Bay are as friendly as Captain Robin seems to think they are. We've got to trust Captain Robin. He wouldn't send us to stoats if he didn't think it was safe. Well, I suppose we'll find out. I just don't want to be such a burden to you and the other scouts. I love you, Sophia Rymaid. You could never be a bird. Maybe. Maybe not. Whatever happens, I just look forward to this all being over. And then we can finally hold our wedding ceremony. Agreed. I can't wait. That will certainly be a happy day. Oh. We've reached the shore. Oof. Oof, that was the worst. <laughs> well, got it eventually.